We're going to continue on in this video with looking at what it means uh, for a function to be a solution to a differential equation. So let's begin with this. Um, we have the function y equals c1 sine 3t plus c2 cosine 3t. And we're to verify that it is a solution to this differential equation, this second order uh, ordinary differential equation. Um, and from now on, as we've been using, uh, anytime we use the letter C, that's going to stand for a, a constant, which may be arbitrary or may not. The fact that we have C1 and C2 means that these are uh, possibly different constants, in fact, likely would be. So let's go ahead and verify that. You'll notice for our differential equation, we'd need to know what the uh, second derivative is. Um, from this, we can see from our y that the first derivative, uh, y prime, would be 3c1 cosine 3t minus 3c2 sine 3t. And the second derivative would then be uh, negative, let's see, we multiply this 3 by 3, so that's 9c1 sine 3t. We're getting a negative because the derivative of cosine is negative. And then over here, minus 9c2 uh, cosine of 3t. So we're ready to put the left-hand side together. The left-hand side is y double prime plus 9y. Okay, but y double prime is negative 9c1 sine 3t minus 9c2 cosine 3t. So that's y double prime plus 9 times y, which is c1 uh, sine 3t plus c2 cosine 3t. And you can see we would distribute the 9 into each of these. We'd have positive 9 c1 sine 3t, and there's a negative 9, so those c1 c3 uh, sine 3t. So those two would cancel. And then we'd have a 9 c2 cosine 3t, which cancels with this negative 9 c2 cosine 3t. So in fact, after everything cancels, we get 0. And so, and 0, of course, is the right-hand side. So we've shown that the left-hand side of our equation equals the right-hand side. And so therefore, um, y equals c1 sine 3t plus c2 cosine 3t is a solution to y double prime plus 9y equals 0. And for our last example in this section, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at this. Uh, the question we have is, uh, is uh, y uh, equals c e to the minus 2t a solution to y double prime plus 9y equals 26e to the minus 2t. So again, we need to calculate some derivatives of this guy. So if y equals c e to the minus 2t, then that tells us the first derivative, y prime, is negative 2c e to the minus 2t. And the second derivative is uh, y double prime equals 4 c e to the minus 2t. So we can now put the left hand side together. A lot of errors in this video, there we go. Left hand side equals, um, the left hand side is y double prime plus 9y. So y double prime is 4 c e to the minus 2t plus 9 times y, which is c e to the minus 2t. And if we add those two together, we get 13 c e to the minus 2t. And the question is, is that equal to the right-hand side? Remember, our right-hand side is uh, 26 e to the minus 2t. 
And the question is, are these two equal? Well, they would be if c was 2, but that's the only case. So what we have is that y equals uh, c e to the minus 2t is a solution. Again, lots of mistakes here on this one. Is a solution to y double prime plus 9y equals 26 e to the minus 2t um, if c equals 2. And that is in fact only if c equals 2. That's the only value for which that's the case. So what we've seen here is that um, in some situations uh, we can have, like if we look at our first exercise here, Um, we can have um, a function with arbitrary constants in it that's a solution to a, a, a differential equation regardless of what the values of the constants are. Or in some cases when we have uh, a function with a constant that's a solution to the equation, a differential equation, the constant is forced to take a particular value. And we'll be working with both of these things as we move on.